like even if you're just drawn to it for the aesthetic how it looks how it feels your sense of it you just trust that because that's the energy that you need right and it's yeah. super not like a cognitive process or it doesn't have to be go by how it feels because um you'll know if something doesn't feel good it's not that you don't want to like have some courage and like lean into massive evolution like christina was saying you know for example some people will pair moldavite with like hematite or a grounding stone and i'm just like why bother <laughs> but uh kind of the same thing as you but i wasn't ready to work with it right away and so you just want to feel you'll know what crystals you're like ooh, this one's beautiful i just drawn to it and like even if you're just drawn to it for the aesthetic how it looks how it feels your sense of it you just trust that because that's the energy that you need right and it's yeah. super not like a cognitive process or it doesn't have to be um so and that's an important yeah, note that you, you mentioned um people always ask like crystals can i wear this one with this one or hold this one with that you know, the answer in general is yes, but you have to think about what they do. And, and so feel like, it out. yeah, but like you were just saying, Rebecca, like Moldavite opens up your top chakras and hematite opens up your bottom chakras and pulls you down. So it's like, you know, that's Why? what, you know, like, okay, it's kind of in the same way of like rose quartz and black tourmaline i look at like black tourmaline shrinks your aura and and rose quartz opens up your aura and your heart so it's like why put those together you just cancel each other out but, but that it, said if it feels right for somebody then by all means i would say like do it if for some reason it feel it might be adjusting your system just yeah. the right way if it feels right but but like generally yeah yeah so <laughs> you're just... enjoying this so far did you forget to subscribe Make sure to do so. It takes two seconds. Just press that little button, the red one. You know the one. Just press it. Little like. All right. Enjoy the rest of this content. Yeah. Yeah. So I mean, <laughs> I just think that that was it. Uh, uh, a nice yeah. little nugget of wisdom that I didn't want to get glossed over because many people. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like okay, you know the end. No, that's good. Maybe just use it a little less often than gri grounding yourself while you're working. But with you it. know. The way I came to that conclusion too about not putting hematite with moldavite is that that didn't, does actually does not feel right to me, and I can tell it doesn't right away as soon as I. But maybe for somebody else it does feel good. But yeah, and some people it's might not be as sensitive though, and they might it not. It doesn't know. feel right to me. It's almost like if you're taste making a soup and you're putting in the things and you're just kind of tasting it and you're adjusting subtly here or there how you want something to taste. Like crystals working together is like a similar sort of feeling of that like even today i have and i know christina you often have like a necklace with like three or four <laughs> crystals on it and i usually don't pile a whole bunch of them up together but um occasionally on that day if i'm like yeah like it just feels like i'm like yep these three are going together today and then other days it might just be one or just one or one or two um so i'm always adjusting is, do you have the Libyan desert glass that you can show no, people? No, we'll talk about This is actually blue lace agate that came from Oh, oh I can see. Um, if you like this content, make sure that you like, subscribe, and comment below. And we also have amazing link right there for some cool product. I know you want to check it out. I know you want to click it. Go ahead. Go ahead. Come on. You can do it. All right. Until next time, have a beautiful, blessed day.